What's up people, Man right here. Coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making shortbread cookies vegan edition. Here I have taken 170 grams of butter, uh, vegan butter. If you're not vegan, you can use regular butter too. That's perfectly fine. And I just put it in the microwave just to soften it up just a little bit and I whisked it really quickly. And to this, we're going to be adding 80 grams of granulated sugar and the reason why I'm using granulated sugar versus the castor sugar or confectioner sugar is it gives the cookies a little bit more texture and it's not that complicated of a process all we're going to do is the butter that is softened we're just going to dump in the sugar again 170 grams of butter vegan butter or regular butter whatever you want to use 80 grams of sugar you sprinkle it in to that, we're going to be adding a 1.25 milliliter or quarter of a spoon of vanilla extract. You can add more if you like. I personally do tend to keep it a little less. We're also going to be adding a pinch of baking powder. Just a little bit will do. You don't need to add too much of it. And because these are shortbread cookies, we're also going to be adding a pinch of salt, preferably sea salt. And we're also going to be adding 250 grams of all-purpose flour and prior to adding the flour you need to whisk the butter the sugar and all the ingredients you can do it by hand but if you have a hand mixer that's going to be much better all we were doing right now is aerating the butter mixing the sugar along with it now we take one of these whisk things if you don't have it you can also use a sieve and we will incorporate the flour into it Initially, just take a fork, mix it up, because this thing is going to turn into uh, powder and it's going to aerate the whole thing and create a mess. And once you mix it up, add a little bit more flour. And mix it up with a fork. If you have a bread hook, you can use that too, but you really don't need to worry about it. It's a very less needing uh, recipe. All we're doing is trying to incorporate it into a dough-like texture. And just using the fork, I'm squishing through it and getting it done. It's almost ready actually. Now that this is mixed, just take the scraper, scrape anything that is on the side. You can use your hands too, but if you have a silicone scra scraper, that also helps quite a bit. Just scrape it up, Just press it down, pick up anything that might be there. And the dough is ready. Believe it or not, the dough is ready or, or the cookie dough is ready. Some people do put it in the fridge just to chill a little. Uh, me personally, I don't mind, do I don't think that is necessary. But if you're baking this or making this in summer, yeah, you can put it in the fridge. Now comes the messy part. You get a clean uh, surface, preferably smooth surface. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on it. Get your rolling pin, get that floured up too because the dough is going to be sticky. Drop it in and initially just by hand just uh, flatten it up and roll it out. Uh, we are looking for about a half an inch uh, thickness. And note, the dough is going to be sticking to the surface that you're rolling it on. You don't have to lift it. There's a, and at the end you will see exactly why I'm saying this. Once the dough is flat, just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt right on top. And now using a fork, we're going to make holes in it. And the reason for the holes is it allows it to cook a lot faster and it gives you approximate idea as far as how do you want the cookies to be cut. This is the thickness I'm going for. They're going to be about one inch thick. And that's my oven that is ready at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally I like to go with the three inch lengths which is this big 
and these are homemade cookies so they don't have to be exactly looking perfect but you can go for perfection if you like and keep in mind these are going to expand also uh, while you're baking them I got my metallic sheet uh, with the parchment lined up and I'm going to start picking these cookies up and placing them we don't want to leave too much room in between the cookies we only want to give half an inch of distance between them and to pick up the cookies take a sharp knife just go underneath them and they will pop right out and again make sure to clean the knife that way the dough doesn't stick and if accidents happen like this one just put it back on your hand just put it back and it's gonna be fine I know they don't all look perfect but they are homemade cookies they're not supposed to look perfect they're supposed to be delicious and considering we did use uh, vegan butter rather than the regular butter they are going to be healthier for you even though I'm saying that considering it has a lot of sugar in it please consume it sparsely uh, now I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes and in the oven they go at 315 for 15 minutes only and it's going to be in the middle rack and this is about five minutes in the cookies have increased in size as you can see significantly this is all thanks to the baking powder that we used we'll let them go and they should be ready very shortly and these are ready i'm going to take them out of the oven and show you how they look like and voila these are ready uh, we do need to let them cool because right now they're still going to be brittle uh, we have just enough room in between cookies as i said it before we left just enough room so they are still a little bit delicate right now we need to allow them to cool they need to harden up once they do they'll be ready to take out this one or some of these on the side seems like they did get a little extra heat but that's fine uh, they are still edible i'm just lifting them up to help the cooling process as always like comment subscribe and i will see you guys and girls on the next one later people